this gun I'm holding in my hand is an airsoft gun. And it looks almost identical to the gun that was recovered at the scene. And as you can tell in the pictures and on this one, there are no indications, no markings on it that says that it's a toy. Now that is the gun that police say the suspect was holding when an Evansville police officer shot her Wednesday. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Shelley Kirk. First at four, we now know the name of the woman who was shot and killed by the officer on South Evans Avenue Wednesday evening. The Vanderbilt County coroner has identified the woman as 34-year-old Christina McKinney. We also learned today when she was shot, McKinney was holding that gun that you just saw a moment ago, an airsoft gun that's a replica toy gun that shoots plastic pellets. Now, police released the body camera video of the incident today. Eyewitness News has edited the body cam video. Ma'am, We are here. not showing McKinney being shot, but you can see some of what led up to it. An officer approached McKinney in the 1700 block of Evans Avenue and asked Ma'am, her to here. talk to him. To police say after she refused, she then reached for what appeared to be a handgun. Now police say it was that airsoft yep. gun. The officer the ordered McKinney to drop the gun several times. And you can see in the body cam video when she continued reaching for the gun, the officer shot her. Not only just yelling commands at this female, but he's pleading with her. I mean, there's a negotiation, you know, stop, you know, stop digging around, you know, it, you know, he's, he's giving her commands, but also pleading with her. Don't basically say, don't do it. Don't do it. McKinney fell on top of her gun. Authorities say then a canine officer had to be brought in to separate her from the weapon. The name of the officer involved has not yet been released. We'll have much more on this story on later editions of Eyewitness News.